up dreaming of being a cowboy and loving the cowboy ways. During some of those visits when DJ would come up from New Mexico when he was just a little guy, I started introducing him to sports. The earliest sports stuff was in the backyard with Dad. I burned up my childhood day. And being a Cowboys fan myself, it was only natural that we'd play a lot of football. Running post patterns and, and running, uh, you know, doing little play action fakes and going across the middle and, you know, and we'd have three downs to get from one fence to the other. And if we didn't, then we had, then we would just turn around and pretend we were the other team going the other direction. And, and um, you know, those were, those were really uh, important times. Professional football in America is a special game, a unique game. Played nowhere else on earth, it is a rare game. The man who play it make it so. The game is wide open, not confined. X's and O's on a blackboard are translated into imagination on the field. can be one man rising above the obscurity of the grim, no-glory duty of special teams. The heroes of the 60s, like the game itself, seem larger than life-size. I now want you to listen to me, and listen good, because this is what we're going to do. We're going to run the ball, we're going to pass the ball, we're going right down this field, and we're going to score. Back to throw, and the Redskins are coming after him. He was a player that was uh, so superior to the people around him. The best player I ever coached. Since I've been in broadcasting, John, I've done something like 35 Redskin Cowboy games. This one ranks right up there. Spectacular catch. You see, he turned Daryl Green. He got his hips turned. Then he started going to the post. The ball's a little behind him. And as you say, that was a great catch. Dallas down to one timeout remaining. Novacek, the holder, will try a 42-yarder. He's missed twice today. Lead is now 10. 